Hey everybody, this is Curtis from Smith Truck Body, and uh, I'm here today to talk a little bit about the Allison 1000-2000 series transmissions. It's been kind of a hot topic these days in the roll-off and dumpster rental community, and uh, just kind of want to go a little more in depth. There was some couple good videos that were made, but I want to kind of go more in depth as to the why things work the way they do, and that you know, it's not much different than a manual transmission with the PTO. Uh, those of you who've ran it, yeah, is it is it a little less efficient, but it still will do the same same job. It's not like the the transmission is going to explode the moment you turn the PTO on, like some of these guys make it seem. Uh, we do quite a bit with uh, these transmissions and other applications with PTOs that don't need to be mobile, uh, and they work just fine. Uh, so there's a few little quirks learning how to do it, but uh, it still works and it's still a good option for someone wanting to get into the business uh, at a lower price point. So uh, today we have an Isuzu FTR, which is one of the hot ones these days. Uh, this has a Palfinger PHT 22M, roll right tarp system on it. Uh, we wrapped this orange for a, a recent show that we had. So I figured it'd be good to do a little bit of demo with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get in, we're going to load a container. Yes, it's not going to be at an angle and things like that, but uh, some of it comes down to being a better driver than just being lazy. So I'm going to show you a few of the tricks and we'll go from there. It's not entirely impossible to load the container in neutral. So there's about four tons in that container, which is our scrap container, which is a little bit more than what your typical uh, regular residential waste dumpster is gonna be. Usually you're gonna look at about two ton. Um, for your roofer, yeah, it's gonna be more. But uh, 
you know, roll off trucks and roll off trailers, pull cans up in neutral every day and suck the truck underneath of them. And some of them, yes, are in residential areas. Yeah, do you have to be a little bit smarter about it? Wood underlayment, rolly skates, things like that. Uh, all in all, it probably adds about five minutes to the process, but uh, you know, it's still completely capable of doing it. And as you can see, it, you can still move forward and reverse and use the hydraulics as long as you're moving. The way I explain to people is it's similar to a manual transmission uh, in the fact that your brake is almost like your clutch. So the 1000 and 2000 series transmissions, the PTO is torque converter driven. So the torque converter has to be in lockup in order for the PTO to work. Well, when you're on the brake, it kicks the torque converter out of lockup. So you can be moving and the torque converter is locked up. You can use the PTO. The moment you press on the brake, it's just like a clutch. It disengages the PTO. Um, you know, people have been using manual transmissions in the roll off and hook lift industry for years. There's still a lot of people who use them. Uh, they make money every day too. So, you know, yes, is the 3000 series the most efficient option? Yes. It is the 100% 3000, 4000 series trucks are the most efficient option. The big thing is you typically are not going to find that truck on the ground at a dealer. It's becoming more common with, with other, you know, manufacturers like us, uh, you know, Ruble truck sales, quality truck. A lot of these guys, we, we work hard to keep those trucks in stock for you guys. But in this market, when trucks are still kind of hard to find, you, you gotta have, be able to have some options. Uh, the old standard was the 2500 because that was the most common chassis people had around. Uh, so, you know, it's still an option. The cost difference to order that truck is about $8,000. And, you know, $8,000 can get you probably two containers still on the, on the smaller side. Um, so it, it's up to you if you wanna make that decision. We have lots of customers running FTRs and things like that that still uh, do quite well for us. So at the end of the day, you gotta ask yourself, you know, is being able to back underneath the can while I'm loading it worth an extra $8,000 up front to me uh, and the headache to find the truck? Now, I, I, I always push people to order the truck. Um, you know, that's what we do here at Smith Truck Body is primarily, you know, build to order, get the truck you want. So yeah, if you're calling in to order a truck, yes, I am gonna spec an Allison, you know, 3000 in, a, in an under CDL truck. That's still extremely uncommon. Like I said, the chances are you to find that in an under CDL truck on the ground it is very rare these days. Uh, a, a 33 GVW truck, yes, that, that's more of a spec, but you're still gonna fight the 2500. Now, if you were to ask me, hey, I want a cab over with an Allison 3000. Well, unfortunately, uh, under CDL, as of recently, those options are gone. Um, Peterbilt and uh, Kenworth are working hard. The, the 220 slash K270 chassis, which was one of the only ones you could get the Allison 3000 in, that is now their EV chassis. So we are back to an Isuzu. Um, and, you know, Isuzu is not going to make them with an Allison 3000. Uh, for the few trucks that they do sell for that application, they're not going to. Uh, they would have to redesign the whole truck. So that's, you know, to answer a lot of the reasons there. But with the Isuzu, you make up with the maneuverability. Uh, it's a lot lighter than a lot of the other trucks. And it's still an all-around great truck. So you just kind of have to sit down and uh, look at it, you know, strategically from a business standpoint. And is it more of a want or a need? Um, I know a lot of guys, like I said, I, I, I personally, yes, I push the Atlas in 3000 if you're going to order a truck, but uh, if you're like, hey, I just started a dumpster company today, I need a truck tomorrow, that this is more like what you're going to find uh, of a chassis on the ground. Um, so unless you're you're working with a, a quality upfitter that might stock a few units, like we, we hardly ever have a few stock units unless it's for shows. Um, but uh, if you want to work out and plan something, yes, we can definitely get an Allison 3000. But the purpose of this today was just to show you like, hey, it still works. The truck didn't blow up. Uh, you know, it was still fairly efficient. Yeah, on an incline, it might be a little harder, but uh, coming from a guy who's, who's done this for quite a few years before I 
started building trucks, you can still make money with a truck with a manual transmission and a truck with an Allison 2000 or 1000 series and uh, still go home at the end of the day and have money in your pocket.